Thank you, John D, for turning on the light. And good morning to everybody from the Colombo. Muscateros Basaya, right? Colombo's Tagalog? Oh. Okay, good. Got it right. First things first this morning. Uh, I don't sleep with a headband, but I do wake up taking a bath. And I know you've seen me take, like, you know, show you the bathroom and whatnot. But this morning, I have something magical I gotta find. Yes, here it is. There it is. Namaste. What is Namaste? Let's go find out. Namaste, sporty man. This is a shampoo bar, and basically, it's from a local in Cagayan de Oro who's doing buhi buhi, working hard, making cool stuff. Good for the environment. I'm gonna wash my hair with it. Ooh. I don't actually know how much you're supposed to rub it, but I think I'm doing too much already. <laughs> Shampoo bars are much better than the plastic bottles. Uh, it's a lot of soap, man. It's like a bubble bath. Good for the skin, sporty man. Support local products. Especially Ones that make your body feel good and that are whew, good for the environment and local and give you more reasons to use a cabo. Cabo. Okay, I'm just gonna refresh this morning and then we're gonna go and show you what's going on at the house. Good morning from Cata Il Dav Oriental. Namaste! <laughs> Amazing what can happen in three weeks. This is so cool. A lot has happened since I've been back here. And it's exciting. And I'm gonna share it all with you. Even the color, look at it. Can you tell the color is getting more unique? Oh, see our showers, okay. I want to share things with you, but the guys want to go to town. We got to get a few things, so I'm going to go with them. So we'll deal with this all later. But now let's go to town.
Cal what does California say? This is like brand. A brand of car fresheners? Oh. So, we're in Commander's truck, and the first thing we decided is we're gonna try and give him a new air freshener because black ice is not smelling anymore. Dili homot. Bajo dui. Bajo dui. Salud. Bajo. Bajo. Kili. 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 Bajo. 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 <laughs> oh, I love the truck missions. Let's go to Katiyo. Good vibes. Okay, welcome to Kata'il, and I've never been here since lockdown was on. Basically, until oh. December 11th, um, you cannot come here. I was allowed back in because I had the paperwork and I did three swab tests and of course the humanitarian mission, so. Um, but if you're coming as a tourist, you won't be allowed in. They're gonna stop you at the checkpoint. Bow wow. Bow wow. But three things, I need to go to the bank machine. I need to now get Commander New Air Freshener because he has a working truck and working trucks tend to <laughs> Tend to think. That's just Working for a fact. Truck. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use that one. Okay. I and mean, uh, we're yeah. gonna eat, so. Yeah. See you in a bit. people who likes raw green mango just straight up sour no salt get a good air freshener 10 pesos of glory right here Yes! Vanilla aroma and manga for me. I guess not. <laughs> First and foremost, don't rely on the bank machines in uh, rural, <laughs> rural areas of the Philippines because a lot of the time they're offline, but today they're online! Yay! Wow. Oh. Uh, just so you know, if you do go to small towns, there's usually only one or two bank machines and sometimes they can be offline, so it's good to bring a little bit of money with you if you do travel here in the future. But, even more important... Oh, new flavor! Yeah man, are you excited? And it matches your shirt. <laughs> it doesn't match my truck though. No, no, Vic, wonder. There's a technique. I know, I know. It's a technique. Smell it first. <laughs> don't, oh, by the way, don't smell it with your mask on. It doesn't work. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't need a mask on. Hello. Manual before you say. Okay, Commander, go. Bisaya Jandi. You want someone, car? No. Hello. The stance here, guy. No, no, man. Kaya tiri ko kara hamang kita. No, no, no. Commander doesn't like people, lah. Huh? You guys remember that? Yeah, I remember that. He just said because I don't like people. Kita, <laughs> oh, mang na pagid. Oh, smells like. Oh, vanilla. Vanilla. Dude, this smells so good. At last. Can we do this together, Commander? <laughs> and home up, home up, home up, home up, home up.
about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. It's pretty windy. There's literally nobody here and it's a Saturday because you can't be a tourist here. Anyways, let's go have a home update. Sorry, I got distracted. I was gonna talk about this. We have coconuts. Oh my gosh, we have coconuts. When did this happen? Jundee's holding the camera. Jundee, how long have we had coconuts for? From the start. What? Yeah, but they're bigger now. Oh my gosh. We're it's... gonna have our first dwarf coconuts. Soon, soon, okay. There's a huge garden here. Let me show you it. Uh, the Ate, the wife of uh, our main panda on our home project, has done some amazing gardening over the past few months for us. This is Komote. Uh, you can see with the purple tops here. And then, all of this here, if you haven't seen it before, this is Kang Kong. So you look at the roots here, this is Kang Kong, another delicious vegetable. Over here, spring onion. Gonna go nice and up. Spring onion here. Is this okra? Ah, Jundi's nodding. Yes, okra. This is okra, that slimy green vegetable. And then this is really, really interesting. So, when I was gone, this wasn't up. We built a wooden bamboo kind of root garden frame. And we have talong, string beans. It's really awesome. No joke, in the future, way down the road, I'm actually going to build my own place here. But uh, in the meantime, it's going to be a garden, so these things all just grew so fast. Amihan, the rain, to the water. This is a motorized pump. It's been running for 24 hours. We're actually flushing out our water system. This is 17 and a half feet deep. That's a 2,000 gallon tank you just saw. Check this out. You know what? I would probably drink this, but I want to get it tested first. There is no more sand in this. This is clear water. Look at that, like. Anyways, we actually have a solar pump, but when we install it and when we start to get the system going, I'll do a whole video about that. So for now, fence. As expected, this color is a lot different than this color because the actual slidey bit is protected from the elements. 
So do remember that if you get a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of sun, your wood's going to change color. Eventually we're going to make a mural or paint it or something cool. But I'm excited to share with you also something everyone's been asking about for months. We've actually had permission to move this pole for a long time. Don't worry, we're going to move it just to the corner. It's all good. But uh, in the meantime, it's still here. It's really hot, man. It's not a good idea. <laughs> this is going to be our motorbike shed and also the shed that we're going to use to have all the controls for the water system and maybe on the property, I guess. I don't know, actually. All I know is it's a motorbike shed. It's a makin, it's wood, and it's sheep. Through the wind, I give in. I'm storming, breaking like the tide. Every time, a bit dizzy, I close my eyes and feel the fizzy. Yeah, we have two little rooms up top, and they're almost done. These windows and doors are going to be sliding. We're still finalizing them, but everything's a maka. Eventually there'll be you know, lights and things and whatnot, but it's really close to be able to move into. And when you look out the window, you can see Ate's beautiful landscaping. I love it. Check it out. Every hour. Very, very nice. The, the gardens are so cool. Things grow very, very fast in the Philippines. You can just tuck them in. Literally, my two bow in the corner, I can see from here the sugarcane hits up. Uh, the dwarf trees are growing, everything just grows. A Mihan season plant. Everything's being sanded down and then covered with some, I don't know, something, but it's all going to blend to be painted in the future. Speaking of that, the color, uh, you can tell there's this new coat on all the wood. Uh, the finishing team, maybe it'll take a month, but they're going to make everything super cool and fantastic. They're also local guys. Everything here, they're locally built. Super, super cool. Way to go, Kathy. The earth is going to hold me, show my world. People were wondering, what about rain? Uh, we created a gutter system using a plain sheet and then it's totally encased in natural amakan and wood. So any of the runoff from the higher roof is going into this gutter system and flowing out back towards the ocean. So again, it's just rainwater, nothing else, no contamination away from the property. It runs all the way down. So don't worry, we're all good. I know a lot of people are wondering, what about the rain? What about the roofs overlapping? All is good. It's pretty surreal that a few months ago there was nothing here. Uh, this has taken a long time though, which is good. It means it's been slow and steady, and again, we've been working with a local family uh, to have this created. If you're wondering how we had it created, a mix of everything, from our own brainstorming, to talking with locals, to engineering friends, to inspiration from the internet. It's just a random cool structure. Over here to my left, that is a kitchen. If you guessed, it is a kitchen, but I'm going to save it for a separate video and show you everything about it. For now, the main structure, give it a few weeks, I think we're going to be living in here. Until then, work continues. I give in. Stop.